having a bus day here. We're playing with buses. We got the renter bus here that John owns. And then we got Gus. Gus is back here parked 90 degrees. So we've popped a couple windows out. We got that one out. We got that one out. And we got that one out. We took the windows front window out. Panel off first to get to the actual screws that hold the window in. And then I think we can take the screws out of the window frame and take the frame apart. So these screws hold in the trim piece. There's a chrome trim piece that I popped off and it looks like they hold this frame in too. So take them all out. Somebody's put a Phillips screw in so I'm gonna have to go get another screwdriver. Oh that one's tight. Sure is nice to be inside in the winter time here in the dryness. Rather than out in the cold. Oh, this one doesn't want to. Oh. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Okay, two more to go. off and now hopefully we can get this piece off screws on the inside maybe oh there's screws on the inside in there up in here there's more so we got to drop the window down to get to them right up here we don't want to drop because they're going to go inside the window frame if we drop them. Okay, so the frame comes off. Oh, this is actually part of the track. So the, the yeah, this has part of the window track. So that's why I'm having to slide it up off the window. So if you can see this, this is part of the track. I want to try and straighten this while it's off. Somebody's taken this window up before, but they, they pried up here on the frame to get to the bottom under frame screws. So, the other side. Now we got to roll the window back up. Now we can get to the screws in the frame of the window itself. Four more and then we'll have one piece of every type of glass in the bus out so I can get windows made. So when we're done taking this apart Andrew you need to go have a look at John's bus over there. You haven't seen it yet. It's quite the work of art. So this bus would have been in service in Illinois. Illinois Commerce Commission bus safety inspection. So that was, I think it, came, it was just outside of Chicago for a while. So that would have probably been its annual inspection sticker. There we go. Oh, that one broke. 
that's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to extract that somehow. That one broke too. That's because those are mild steel. They're not the proper screws. And that's why they broke. So that's going to be a conundrum to get apart and fix properly. So now we should be able to just pull this window out of here. Looks like my finger's on the other side. There we go. So it's actually two pieces of glass with a strip around it. Okay, so we're going to leave them together because they'll travel better in the rubber. But that's it. That's what we need to get done. Oh, it's heavy glass. That was pretty easy to get out. So we're going to get some glass made and get some new rubbers. And we're going to come back and start changing rubbers. The bus barn. It's nice to come down and see Gus all warm and snug. So we're looking here at uh, John's bus and uh, these trim pieces were made. They're not the original ones. They're they're like countertop Corian type material. So that's kind of neat. They look a whole lot nicer. That might be too clean. And that way they, they match the wonderful interior that's in here rather than trying to paint them and straighten them. See, mine are all dented up around the screws from people being lazy. People uh, just bent the frame to get the screws out rather than doing it properly. And uh looks like Mark replaced all the screws. They're all nice and straight and clean. So do a little walkthrough here while we're here. Um, for those that haven't seen this bus, this is one gorgeous bus. So it's all leather. I love the smell of this bus when you get into it. That's all you smell is the leather couch. And uh, it's all custom interior, all custom wood. These are all hinged cabinets. They open and close nicely. Custom countertop. Lots and lots of detail put into this bus. One of my favorite things is, is down here, the little greyhounds all cut out. And they light up when you turn the uh, interior lights on too. That's pretty neat. And they're also functional. They're air vents. So, walk through here. Walk to the back rear lounge. So we've got some bunk beds. Each bunk bed has its own little entertainment unit. So every piece of detail on the, bu the bus is just amazing. All this wood inlay. Hours and hours and hours of work. And uh, this is where you get to all the electrical back here. Again, that's a really heavy piece. Pretty cool. Push button controls for everything. I like the lighting in the roof. It's the center strips illuminated the whole way down. This is the bathroom. Just an amazing bus. So we brought all the window frames home and uh, I started taking them apart. And uh, so this one's been stripped apart and I'll show you what is actually inside one of these D windows. So it's a double sealed window. So there is a rubber seal, this rubber gasket, which surprisingly is actually still pliable because all of the other rubber on the bus is it's just like this. It's just like it's it's solid as a rock. This actually came off the outside of this frame and it's solid as rock, but this is still quite pliable. Like I could actually reuse this one if I wanted, but I won't. I'm going to get all new ones. So that comes off. And then there's this like aluminum foil like seal that I had to peel off. So then that comes off. And then you've got a layer of glass. An aluminum spacer. And you can see there's some corrosion on the aluminum spacer. I'm gonna have to clean all this up. And then another layer of glass. And this glass, I don't know if you can see it here, um, 
I thought it was tempered, but it's not. It's actually um, a laminate glass. So I thought all the side windows would be tempered, but it turns out they're not. It, um, they're actually a laminate, which is, uh, I, guess, I guess, easier to come by to get glass cut. It's probably easier to cut, too. Um, so then all those pieces that I just showed you, they sit inside this frame. So it's a double frame. Normally the window would be inside here. Um, so you have to take off the hardware on the outside here, which I've got sitting on the floor over here. And then you have to take out these four screws. And then the outer frame just lifts off. Okay. And then, oh, I put it back together. But then you have to take off all these screws the whole way around. And then this trim piece comes off and you can just lift the glass out. So... There you have it, folks. Silver side windows, a work in progress. So here we have every piece of glass that's in a silver side. And uh, we removed all the different windows so we can get them copied. And we're going to have new rubbers installed as well. If you want to know where to get them, see our website, pd3751.com. We're having all the rubber on the bus reproduced. And if you're looking for that, uh, please get in contact with us. If you enjoyed this video today, please let us know by uh, pressing that like button and uh, subscribe to see more Adventures of Gus. Thanks.